It's a frank and sobering assessment of how the war is going. Speaking to The Economist, General Valery Zelushny, Ukraine's commander-in-chief, says the war is grinding to a geographical and technological deadlock, each side finding ways to match the other. In an essay for the magazine, he sets out five areas where he believes Ukraine has to overtake the Russians if it's going to win. Number one, air superiority. The general says Ukraine's destroyed 13 aviation brigades of Russian helicopters and 550 air defence batteries. Moscow is increasingly turning to drones to find and attack Ukrainian forces. General Zeluzhny says Ukraine needs to use swarms of cheap drones, sending some to attack while others act as target simulators to confuse the Russians and make them reveal the location of air defence systems like the S-300. Fake radar emissions could also be used to make Russian pilots think targets are heavily defended. Ukraine also needs to blind Russia's UAVs. Strobe lights could stop them seeing at night, he says, while anti-drone guns jam their electronics. Number two, breaching Russian minefields. The general says some Russian minefields are up to 20 kilometers deep. Overhead drones keep watch, calling in artillery on any Ukrainian units that try and clear them. If they are breached, the Russians quickly relay them. To find a way through, he says, his troops need modern laser sensors that produce a 3D map of the ground. Smokescreen systems would also hide mine clearance teams. The general also floats some more radical ideas. Jet engines from decommissioned aircraft, even water cannons, could blow a hole in the minefields. Cluster bombs and missiles filled with fuel air explosives might be another way to blow them up, while tunnelling machines and burrowing robots could go under the minefields, not through them. Number three, electronic warfare. Russia's had an electronic warfare branch since 2009, and although it's lost a lot of kit, it still has a vast superiority. Here, says the general, Ukraine needs to produce more of its own EW technology, but also tap into the expertise and data of its allies, getting more access to Russian signals traffic. He suggests Ukraine's drones need to be used not just for reconnaissance and attack, but also as electronic warfare weapons, able to fly over the battlefield during assaults. Number four, counter-battery fire. Ukraine has been a war of big guns. Up to 80% of operations carried out by both sides involve artillery. Locating the enemy's guns and quickly targeting them before they can move, what's called counter-battery fire, has been one of Ukraine's strengths. But the general says Russia has learned fast. Ukraine's been supplied with American Excalibur 155mm shells, a smart round that uses GPS to find its target. But the Russians have learned how to confuse its guidance system, making it far less effective, he says. At the same time, Russia is now using its Lancet drones to illuminate targets for its guided weapons. To counter this, the general says Ukraine needs to build its own GPS networks to improve the navigation of its precision guided weapons. Kamikaze drones need to be adapted so they can also find Russian artillery and Ukraine needs more ways of misleading the enemy. Number five, logistics. The general says the war has shown the need to have deep stockpiles of weapons and ammunition, a concept discarded at the end of the Cold War. Despite sanctions, Russia is still able to produce more of everything and is increasing production. While Ukraine is being supplied with large quantities of materiel, it will still take up to two years to dramatically increase production. In the meantime, says General Zeluzhny, his forces need to keep hitting Russian warehouses and transport routes, making it harder and further for Moscow to supply its forces. And to do it, he says, Ukraine needs missiles with longer range, preferably ones it builds itself. Simon Newton, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.